Hey guys, I got a quick, inexpensive, but satisfying meal for you. Let's get inside and get started. Okay, you're gonna need one pound of ground beef or ground sausage, one to two cans of French onion soup, depending on how soupy you want it, and a minute made rice. And that's it, three ingredients. Let's get started. Right. To begin with, you're just gonna fry up the meat. When it's done cooking, you're gonna drain out the fat. In the back, I have the water ready for the rice. I'm just gonna cook it like it says on the box. I'm cooking two cups of rice with two cups of water. The meat's about ready to drain off the fat. If you don't want as much fat, you can get a leaner meat. But with the uh, coronavirus going on right now, meat's limited and hard to find. So I had to get an 80-20, which is better than nothing, but it's not what I would normally prefer. So let me get this drained. Got some boiling water there. So we're gonna get some rice going and we'll be right back. Okay, got most of the fat drained off and now I'm gonna add my cans of soup. If you want it thicker with more consistency, just add one can. I add two because I'm okay with the soupiness because whatever's left over, I will use tomorrow. I'll get a pack of Raymond noodles and mix in with it and boil it in this and oh, delicious. The last time I made it, I made it with potatoes instead of rice and it was very good. My husband loved it, the whole family, it was a winner. This time we're trying it with rice. I have some veggies in the back going. So let me get my veggies done get the rest of this put together and I'll be back to show you what I got. Everything's done. I got my plate planted up here, so I'm gonna give it a try. Last time we had this with the potatoes, my husband said it reminded him of a shepherd pie. So it was like a non shepherd pie, I guess. But this time it's with rice. Let me give it a try. It's actually really good. I like it a lot. I like it just as much as I do with the potatoes. So I'm actually looking forward to lunch tomorrow, leftovers with the Raymond noodles too. So have a good one, give it a try and stay safe.